Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to At Dead of Night. In the last video, we cleared up Dr. Bose's story. Sad one that one was. He took one of these elevators, he took some rope, and he just let it go. That was sad. I still think that Amy's story was the saddest because she was just a little girl. She was only 10. She, I, honestly though, hot take. Where are her parents? Where were her parents when all this was going on? Like, if she was just at this hotel, just, I mean, maybe she deserved it. I don't want Out of pocket for that shit. Way out of pocket. In the notes of my phone, I do have that we are supposed to go to the stage on the ground floor. We are supposed to go to the stage on the ground floor. I'm gonna be more attentive this time about the things that I pair because what I found out in the last video is that some things that have been paired already with like a different story can still be paired with the story that you're currently interacting with. Like with Dr. Bose, um, the article shared yeah. There we go. Behold, I am the great Hugo. It's Hugo Punch. I stand alone above all others. I am the light which illuminates the dark. I alone am master. <laughs> Where the fuck did all this dust come from? <laughs> you noted the great Hugo on stage. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Is it Harvey? Is it Harvey? Is it Harvey? <laughs> yes. I saw someone on stage, a performer, announcing himself as the great Hugo. Okay, um... Um, so what then? <laughs> what the fuck? So he never knew Hugo. How are we supposed to add that to a pair? Yeah, he didn't have an answer for this, so we can't even add that to a pair. What the hell? I saw Dr. Bose tying a rope around his neck. He killed himself. Why? Everyone thought he'd touched Jimmy. Jimmy was clever, you see. Too clever. Doctor had no chance. Poor soul. Yo. Okay. Um Dr. Bose, Dr. Bose. Jimmy accused Dr. Bose. Harvey locking Jimmy in the basement. I saw you locking Jimmy in the basement. What happened? Of his own medicine. I thought he couldn't do any damage down there. I was wrong. Oh, uh, pair this with the uh, fire. You said you were wrong to think Jimmy couldn't do any damage in the basement. Is that connected to what you said about the fire in the hotel? Nobody realized how far Jimmy would go to get a I'm off to a good start, y'all. Yeah? I'm off to a great start. Hell yeah. Harvey realized Jimmy was fucking nuts. Damn! 
shit was about crazy as hell down here. Is it Harvey? Is it Harvey? What? You were in the room? Is it Harvey? Is it Harvey? <laughs> yeah, it's Harvey. I saw a fire in the basement. What happened to the hotel? We managed to contain it before it got out of hand. Oh, photos and letters and everything were down there. It all went up in flames. Jimmy was out of control. I'd had enough of him. I wanted him gone. Um, okay. Broken mirrors. Nope, he doesn't remember that. So we're not going to pair that. Uh, he didn't have an answer for the goodbye note. Found a dagger. It wasn't supposed to be sharp. I kept the bats in case I needed them. But he used that to destroy some other stuff. The crossbow was used against him. Photos of the fire. Was it the gun? When you said you wanted Jimmy gone, does that have something to do with what you said about the gun? I'd lost him. I was seeing red. I hated him. I lost control. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two. But what about Rose? Man, this is getting intense, dude. This is getting serious. It all started with uh, it all started with an innocent. I guess I wouldn't really call that innocent, but like Amy's story was so tame. Like Jimmy thought he was being playful. He burnt the girls. Oh fuck! 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 Shit. 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 Just keep going that way. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, no. I'm going the wrong way now. No, you don't. No, that's not the room I meant to go in. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. 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 Is this door locked? Okay. Oh, oh no, oh no, no. So he's still on two. I need to be careful because I wasn't being careful then. I know that if I pair the right things together, I have found all of the items, I'm pretty sure of that. So if I pair things together properly, it's now just a matter of no longer checking. No longer check. Ha! What? What? Oh shit. He's not gonna expect me to be in the wardrobe. Lying ass bitch. I'm not trusting it. I'm not trusting it. This is the second time. Third time's a charm. I'm gonna sit here until I am absolutely certain that this motherfucker is gone. Uh, 
I don't trust it. So I'd found out that the red lines where you can like go to the menu of the game tell you whether you're in danger or not. Like when they turn red, Jimmy is close. And when I stepped out of the wardrobe, they were still red. So I don't know how he's supposed to leave the room. Cause if I go towards the door, he's just going to get me. So does that mean that like at this point I'm fucked? Like, is there nothing to do here? Like I just look, it's red. So I think I just have to take the ass whooping. Is that what you're telling me? I, that's crazy. He's going to get me. Get go, go, Can I lock it? I can't, I don't have any keys. Oh, oh, whoa, that was wild. That was some crazy shit. So I guess you just have to be quick about it. I don't. Shit. Is this the room? Okay. All right, we're going in here. We're going in here. Uh, do a thing. Do a thing. You're not doing a thing. Is someone there? Oh my god. Is it just me or is he getting more intense? Feels like a, feels like a Slender Man situation where the further you get into the story, Get out of the hotel, Jimmy. I wasn't expecting that one. Get out of my hotel. This is my hotel. Get out of my hotel, Jimmy. Yep, yep, you don't have to tell me twice. I know exactly where I need to be. Is it Harvey? Uh! Yeah, it's Harvey. I saw you with a gun. Practicing with it. What were you going to do? I don't know what I was going to do. Threaten him, get him out of the hotel. The problem was, I didn't realize he was going to be on too. Oh, what? <laughs> what was he armed with? Uh, the dagger. Did, have we? I don't know if we tried to pair these already. When but you that, said you didn't realize Jim would be armed too. That seems like the best option. Does that option. have anything to do with what you said about the dagger? It wasn't even a dagger. Okay. I never learned my lesson. Jimmy was always one step ahead of Jesus. Me. Where is that? Where was that at? It didn't give me a f floor. So I, hmm. It looked like it could have been one of the rooms on the ground floor, though. Or maybe the basement. Nope, not happening, 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 not happening. Come on. I don't have all day. I got places to be, people to talk to, spirits to talk to. I still got to talk to your mom. I got to fuck your mom. Got him. Okay. Oh. This is my house. Heading towards the ballroom. Where's the thing pointing? Jimmy. Oh. Jimmy. Oh, 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 oh my god! What the <laughs> Yo! Yo! 
Is it Harvey? Yo! Yeah, it's Harvey. I saw you being stabbed backstage. What happened? That's fantastic and all, but I still have no idea how to start Rose's story. I haven't even started her story. Is it part of the game for them to be less descriptive the further in you get? So there was a room at the end of the hall. It was like one room to the right and some chairs with a poster. And I think that the only floor Maybe not the only floor, but the floor that I know of that has that is probably the third floor. Okay, here we are. Now we go in. Nothing? What if we leave out? He's up here. I'm going to catch him. The third floor, okay, I've said this before, is only so big. So with him being here, it's a major problem. Unless he is on the other side of the hall, like on the other side of the third floor, we're kind of fucked. And they want me to be out in the hallway to get the interaction with the ghost. Do the thing. I'm waiting. What's your name? It's like, I know I'm in the right area. And you guys know that I'm in the right area because we're both watching the, the light flicker. We know from past experience that when the light flickers, we're interacting with a ghost or something is about to happen. And it's not happening. I looked through the spying glass, you know, like how it did with Harvey that one time. I have turned around. Oh, maybe. What? You can't just do that to me and then be like, oh, whatever. Wait, so it's not even reacting. It's not even reacting anymore. There was a hole in the ground.
I have no idea what's happening anymore. It didn't give me a specific floor. I mean, like, it didn't even really do anything. floor is not it. I mean, um, lower ground. I'm gonna try ground. Because if it, if it doesn't look like it's one of the floors, then it's gotta be the ground floor. Or the lower ground. I don't think it's here either, though. Let me out! What's stopping me from taking this chair and just breaking the glass? It's really not any of my business to try and figure out how these people died. I think Maya's just being nosy at this point. <clears throat> I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I'm intrigued, so I'd probably try and figure out some shit too. But, um... Nothing is stopping her from taking any of these chairs or any of these, like heavy objects and just smashing the fuck out of that glass nothing i'm trying not to use the scrying mirror as much as possible because i'm smart i'm big brain i can figure it out on my own and the scrying mirror simply just feels like a cheat whatever that was in the bathroom is going to be one of those situations where it's like oh my god dude you found a rare encounter that wasn't supposed to happen that has like a point zero 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 one percent chance of happening to all players and it's like i feel like we were on to something because she kept asking what's your name instead of is someone there yeah the compass isn't reacting here either i gotta use Of course, the only floor that I hadn't checked If I'd have just simply gone I hate it, see, I hate it Because I use the scrying mirror And then it gives me the obvious answer I checked lower ground, I checked ground I checked three, one The only other option would have been to check two And I didn't even do that Pointing directly towards the... Is anyone there? Okay. Maybe... Huh. I see you flickering. Just do the thing. Oh, wait, hold on. No? What the hell? It's pointing directly towards the, the elevators. Is someone there? Do you want me inside the storeroom? Is 
someone there? Hello? What's your name? What's your name? I thought, I thought Harvey, oh, he runs the hotel, but she owns it. <laughs> Do it. I saw a lady explaining that the dagger was a letter opener. Who was she? But did you see how sharp it was? The lobby. I know those doors all too well. I know those doors are all too well. The lobby. Crazy. So I mean like Technically, it was out of self-defense, but like, Jimmy is fucking crazy. Nobody believed anything that he did to anybody else. Or I mean, at least Rose didn't. Everybody else had experienced it firsthand. Like, what, what did Rose say when they discovered the dead body of Amy on the stairs? What did they say when they found Dr. Bose hanging from one of the fucking elevators? We gotta try it from all different angles. Down here. No. <laughs> no! 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 Is it Rose? Is it Rose? <laughs> yes. Who are you greeting at the entrance and reception? Jimmy, she said the name! Why is Maya so fucking stupid? They believed him. But it changed him. He started helping me. Helping run the hotel. And he found a way of bringing in more guests. You're both weird. Okay. We haven't even asked her about any of the items yet. How did those mirrors get broken? Okay, that could be what she said about how it changed him. Who wrote the note that says goodbye? Jimmy. Jimmy wrote it. Duh. What were all the crickets and baseball bats for? They used to belong to my husband when he was a teacher. Oh, what happened to your husband? Who does the dagger belong to? Who is Hugo Punch? It was Jimmy's comedy act. Obviously. Was there a fire at the hotel? Obviously. Yes. But we caught it in time before it spread. So if this is Rose's hotel, she should have answers about all these items, if I'm being honest. Where was the crossbow from? She should have answers about all this shit. That's crazy because your son used it against him. Who does the gun belong to? Harvey. But it was kept in my bedroom. Oh. 
What are those rusty old keys for? They were to the boiler room. We knew that. But we had to have the door replaced. Where did the wooden paddle come from? It belonged to my husband. To beat Jimmy. I saw a scrapbook with newspaper articles in it. Who made it? Crazy. Why was there a washing line tied around a rolling pin? I don't know. Why is there an old heater marked dangerous? Harvey put it away. He said it was dangerous. Hence the marking dangerous. <laughs> Everyone in this hotel is so stupid. Who drew those violent pictures? Interesting. Interesting. Who does the sword belong to? It belonged with a suit of armor we had, but it went missing. Is that the one that's currently in the hallway now? I found a bottle of turpentine and a lighter. What were they for? I don't know. They belonged to Harvey. Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles in one of the rooms? Chef's hat? Who did the chef's hat belong to? Our chef used to wear it. Oh, did you, you had a chef? What happened to him? Did he die? Was it Jimmy? I bet it was. Who did the child's purse belong to? I want to know what you had to say about this. It belonged to the little girl. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm actually curious to see what happened, what she said about Amy falling down the stairs. I saw Amy lying at the bottom of the stairs. What happened to her? She fell. Harvey blamed Jimmy for it. It was the girl's own fault, not Jimmy. That's crazy! <laughs> That's wild! No fucking way. They're both crazy. They're both insane. What was the coil of wire used for? You know why? Okay. All right, that might be useful later, but I don't think that's useful for bringing in guests. Who did the wedding ring belong to? Huh. It was mine. Someone made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Oh. 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 Where did the bottle of diazepam come from? I found some trophies. Who won them? Jimmy bought them to make it look like he'd won awards. Mmm. Mmm, that could be a way to bring in guests. Why is there a blood stained cloth in one of the drawers? I don't know. I don't know. What are you asking me for? I saw some suitcases in a chest. Who did they belong to? Okay. I'm going to pair these two together. When you said Jimmy found a way of bringing in more guests, does that have anything to do with what you said about the trophies? Maybe. Ah! I felt like I was really on to something with that one. Okay. Um, show items. What would bring guests in? What would what would be a way to bring people in? Oh! 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 Oh, Hugo, the Hugo poster. When you said Jimmy found a way of bringing in more guests, Duh. is that connected to what you said about the Hugo? I'm gonna feel really poster? stupid if that's not it. Yes, that was Jimmy's stage act. He's uh. a comedian. He was good, really good. Okay, calm down. People started to come just to watch him. Calm down.
Bro. These visions are getting so vague. I watch the act again. No. Backstage. Backstage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage your entertainment for this evening, Mr. You go punch. Hell yeah! I mean, hell no! Is it Rose? I'm not one to support a murderer. Yes, I'm Rose. I saw you announcing Hugo Punch onto the stage. I was enjoying it. Was Can I ask her about this? Everything seemed to be getting better until Jimmy started behaving oddly. I heard him shouting, staring at himself. Okay, I want to ask I her about this. I a man shouting at someone, telling them to do as he says. Who was he? I never knew what he wanted. There was only one thing I could give him. Whoa, okay, so we've got two things going on here. Okay. I never knew what he wanted. There was only one thing I could give him. Was it your wedding ring? You said there was only one thing you could give Hugo. Is that connected to the wedding ring? I don't know about Shit. Only one thing he could... Huh. Okay, maybe I'm jumping too far ahead. Maybe I don't need to... He seemed angry. So it was the mirror. Let's try the broken mirror. What you said about Jimmy staring at himself and becoming angry, is that connected to what you said about the broken mirrors? Breaking the mirrors was just the start. I asked him about it, but he didn't remember doing any of it. Then other strange things started happening. All right. What floor is that? What floor is that? Oh man, I gotta, I gotta stop recording. But I'm invested. I feel like, I feel like we're making a breakthrough. What floor was that? I mean, fuck it, we'll just try every floor. We will try every floor. Cause that seemed to work last time. We just try a floor until our compass starts reacting to something. Easy. I can barely step into the room. I don't think I'm supposed to be here though. The compass lied to me. Is someone there? I honestly should have known better than that. I should have just followed the music. And now I'm trapped. Oh fuck. Wardrobe, 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 wardrobe. wardrobe. Ah! Please don't. I'm not in here. I'm not in here. Bro, 
this song got me feeling like <laughs> All right, go, 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 Fine. Ah! Ah, I was expecting him to come to the side like the What the fuck? How the hell did he do that? He popped up and then went this way. And then he came this way. Are there two Hugos? Oh, shit. Is it Rose? I do not like being on this floor. Chat! Ah! Bye, Jimmy. Okay. Fine. It's no big deal at all. No big deal at all. I want to try to go to a different floor to lure him to that other floor so that I can then take the elevators up to three and then talk to Rose safely before he gets up here. So my plan is I'm going to step out of the elevator and I'm going to go to the nearest room that is closest to the elevators. I'm gonna continue to call his name. This way. Until I know that he's down here. Jimmy? Wait. I got myself turned around for a second. Okay, I now know that he is down here. Oh. Okay. Ah! Wardrobe, wardrobe, he never expects the wardrobe. See, if I had the keys, I could lock him in here. But I don't care enough to search for the keys. Because I'm, I'm almost done. Is anyone there? Is anyone there? Where do you want me? Do I face this way? Is anyone there? Bro! Is someone there? Where do you want me? Is this the room? It's the room. It's the room. It's the room. It's the room. It's the room.
Okay. Rose? Who's there? I can hear you. Thank you. Is it Rose? Oh my god! Yes. I saw you standing in a corridor full of mannequins. Who put them there? Back to the ballroom. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to put in my notes that I have to go back to the ballroom because I am... I am going to end it here. All right. 78% of the story done. I'd say that's a lot of progress. We were at like, what, 50, 59 or something like that? 52? I don't know. We were somewhere, but I have a feeling that this next video that i do of this is going to be the last video of at dead of night so i'm excited for it i know you guys are a lot of you have been giving me a lot of comments and a lot of uh there's been a lot of conversation about this game so i know that you guys are just as excited as me to get this done if you want to see my last video which was another video about a difficult game about climbing that'll be linked somewhere around here I, I genuinely raged at that one. That was probably my ragiest episode. So go check that out. If you want to see my last video of At Dead of Night, that'll be linked somewhere around here as well. That was the video that cleared up Dr. Bose's story. We cleared up Harvey's story, so I... I, I <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big buddy out. Drink your fluids.